OMG, I just purchased a Model 3 Tesla. I am super excited and this video is going to highlight some of my successes and challenges from the beginning to the end. Now I know what you're saying, there's a lot of videos out there about the Model 3, but every video is different and every video highlights something unique and different that buyers should know um, as they look into purchasing uh, their first electric car. And hold on to the very end of this video. Uh, I do want to highlight and drop a few nuggets of information um, that are even more specific and pertain to dealing with Tesla and also dealing with your bank throughout this process. Uh, Tesla gave me a delivery date of two weeks and I will share with you if they actually came through on that or if not. So hold on to the end. Uh, and thank you so much for looking at this video. So Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think. Be blessed. Peace. I've been eyeing Teslas for over a year and the reality of only one really came about recently as I was having some car trouble and trying to make the decision do I keep putting money into my current car which was several years old or look at getting something new. So that is how my reality of owning a Tesla even came to be. So I began looking, of course, at dealerships and the website, and of course looked at the Tesla website and saw that the Teslas on the website were pretty much out of my price range. Um, the long range models were 53,000. So I was like, let me see what it would be to actually do a custom order. So I did the standard range. I did not want to just keep it same. Uh, the black color is free, so I upgraded to white. Uh, have kids, so didn't want a white interior. The autopilot was included. I didn't want to, the upgrade package. And so I filled all that out and saw that the car came in relatively um, not that expensive, you know, 42,000, 43,000. It was like, this could be a really good fit for me. So I went ahead and made my deposit. And as you can see where it says with the deposit, you have seven days to change your mind. But I was pretty certain at this point when I dropped that 2,500 that this is what I wanted. A uh, quick story is that when I first did it, I did it via my bank card um, and not my credit card. Uh, because I had the cash on hand, but I had already uh, extended my limit for that day. So keep that in mind for your bank. If you know if you're using uh, your debit card versus maybe a credit card, where your limit may be at. Um, so by the next day, uh, I, I only had a limit of like three thousand per day. So by the next day, I was good to go. So went ahead with purchasing everything. Um, and as you can see, it was some great tax savings as well, which I thought would make it a really good fit. When it's all said and done, hopefully I'll come out tax time about $10,000 I can write off. So once you make your purchase, you have the login to actually have your portal for Tesla. You see, I have my own Tesla link. You'll hear in a lot of videos, people talking about their Tesla link or use their code. And that's because you'll get some kind of bonus because of it. The referral program at this point in time is a thousand free supercharger miles. I've looked at uh, older videos from other people and they've had other different things throughout the referral program. So if you are thinking about getting a Tesla, please use my referral code. I would greatly appreciate it because it's a cool uh, kind of hookup to get those extra miles. So after the initial process, I log into my portal, my database, and it gives me all the information. I'm trading in, I was trading in my Mini Cooper at the time. Um, so it gave me the option to fill out paperwork through Tesla to trade in the Mini. And the snapshot also gives you information about the next steps. So I ordered it. I'm waiting for my delivery date. And one thing to keep in mind here is you're waiting for your delivery date. The biggest thing they say is that you need a VIN number first. So you're kind of waiting patiently. It's like as soon as your VIN number is completed, you know that your car is pretty much at the end stages of being completed and being shipped to whatever service center you're going to pick it up. So I got a nice email very shortly after I purchased, maybe a day or two after I initially um, purchased to put my deposit down, giving me all the detailed information about the car and about my trade-in. And I was a little worried because initially on the Tesla website, it had two weeks uh, uh, estimate of delivery. And as you can see, it initially had two to six weeks in this email, but it's a generic email. I mean, you see things are highlighted. You can tell it's a generic email that they send out to everybody and they just put your name at the top. But I would say for here, really read the fine details because it gives you an opportunity to at least let you know what you're getting ready to be, um, be, I guess, uh, exposed to as you're looking forward to trading your car in if you're doing that or if you are just buying it um, in general. 
So I pay attention to everything that is said here uh, of about what my next steps were. Um, and um, from there, was waiting for my trade-in to get actually approved. So I submitted the paperwork for my trade-in, waiting a couple of days to sell up to 48 hours to get it approved. It said to send the picture of my odometer in. And so all this is in the works as I'm waiting for my VIN number to see when is my car going to actually get to me. When I saw this information, I knew that I would have to work with uh, the title holder of my car. So my car still has a balance on it. And so I had to make sure I connected with them to get a payoff letter. And once they processed that payoff letter and sent it to me, it was really done and within like an hour. I had to send that paperwork to Tesla to make sure they could process my trade-in uh, information quickly. Uh, and it was pretty accurate, 48 hours, it may have been a uh, half a day later, uh, but I wouldn't have known if I wouldn't have called Tesla because the information through my portal was incorrect. It wasn't updated correctly. I, I read a lot of different blogs and saw a lot of other videos where people kind of saying they wanted to see the comparison for Tesla and other, um, I guess, trade-ins. And Tesla will only accept CarMax. And so Tesla was giving me a better bang for my buck than CarMax was. So I decided to continue to move forward with Tesla. Here's another document that they sent along with that email that details information about the trade-in and about how everything is supposed to go. The curious thing to, to note is that I live in the state of Louisiana. So therefore, the my closest delivery site is Texas. Texas will not allow people to pick up their cars from any other state. So another thing I had to factor in after I purchased my car was that my delivery date was going to be after potentially a longer because I had to wait on a third party vendor to actually ship my car or bring my car to me to my front door. So that was a little nerve wracking like okay they said two weeks now they're throwing this you know up to a month <laughs> that, that it could take my, my car to get to me. I was definitely concerned because I did see some blogs where people were like it took my Tesla <laughs> a month to get me or longer. Financing was relatively easy in terms of dealing with my bank. I had a great bank. It was their first time doing the Tesla, so that was a little bit of finagling, but the process wasn't too bad. One of the things to keep in mind with uh, the finance piece that I wasn't aware of is that, you know, there's a turnaround of paperwork. Tesla's getting ready to own my car, my old car. And so they did not tell me that Tesla. So I'm waiting on the delivery date for my car and everything. and. They had to send overnight paperwork um, after the check was already de deposited um, and, my, and my bank really did it overnight and got it to Tesla. Um, then Tesla sent me some paperwork after the fact saying this has to be turned in before you can uh, receive your car. So I was a little worried. I was a little stressed out about that because I'm like, OK, they said two weeks. We were approaching a little bit after the two week mark at this point. And so after I sent all the paperwork in, they said that I was good to go um, and I would receive my car. My car had a delivery date of, it was about two and a half weeks at this point, and I waited three weeks in total to actually receive my car. Um, because the car did go to Dallas, um, where my delivery service center was at, and I had to wait about two or three days uh, to actually get the car uh, to me. One of the things, again, with the delivery driver is that Tesla in the paperwork that I showed you before said that I would get 48 hour notice, um, he would call me, all this good stuff. The guy called me the day of a couple of hours before he actually arrived. So I wasn't too concerned with that, but it definitely wasn't um, as the initial paperwork had, had said. Um, this is me uh, signing paperwork over to the, to the guy uh, to officially give my car over to Tesla, my old car. Um, he drove it up because he didn't want to get stuck in, in my neighborhood. And this is uh, me getting rid of or saying bye um, to my old car and delivery of my Tesla. Okay, so a few nuggets of information. I think the most important thing is to first and foremost, do your homework. I had the opportunity to look at so many other videos and vlogs. Hopefully uh, people will look at mine um, because there were some things that I didn't see or read as I looked at different blogs and uh, different YouTube channels that I encountered uh, with buying my Tesla. That helped me really, um, I guess, kind of see a big picture of what I was getting myself into and um, helping me try to c help curb uh, some of my, my, my patience of, of waiting on Tesla. The other thing I would definitely say is you have to communicate with Tesla and your bank. You have to have the lines of communication open. So what does that mean? It's okay um, to 
call Tesla to, to email your service rep. Um, my service rep, I never got him on the phone. I got more information actually calling Tesla, speaking to the representatives than my actual agent who was dealing with my car um, because they were open pretty much seven days a week. So I could call and ask certain information. If they couldn't answer it, they would always say, I'm going to forward that information over to uh, the person who's working on your account, which I appreciated. Um, so definitely, definitely um, be okay with communicating with Tesla and your bank. So if there's things that aren't you aren't sure about or you have questions even with your bank, there were so many questions that I asked, but I came from the perspective of I'm getting ready to spend a lot of money on this car. So I definitely want to know what's going on. And I would probably say one of the other last biggest thing is to be persistent it's okay to annoy Tesla it's okay to annoy your bank you are spending your money your hard-earned money to get this vehicle and I think if I was not persistent in terms of calling Tesla emailing service reps other people at Tesla I would not have gotten my car in a timely fashion so I hope what I've said uh, definitely helps you um, in your your journey and your pursuit of purchasing an electric car um, thank you so much for tuning into my video. If you have any questions, uh, comments, or concerns, uh, drop them in the comment section. And please like, subscribe, share. And if you're interested in buying a Tesla, please uh, don't hesitate to use my code um, so that I can get a free uh, a set of miles. And you will do the same for your order as well. Uh, so thanks so much. Uh, talk at you guys soon. Uh, have a good one.